first dish I'm going to do today is a linguine involutive smoked haddock, uh, spinach, cauliflower, or citra caviar. So first, um, I'll be taking the linguine. Uh, it's a mould lined with linguine, uh, filled with a scallop mousseline and a smoked haddock, and that's uh, steamed. Uh, it's also with a caramelised cauliflower puree, parsley puree, buttered spinach, uh, lemon to cut it through nicely, uh, or citra caviar, shaved cauliflower, and finish with the velouté. You poach the smoked haddock in the water bath very slowly. Um, that goes on first, followed by caviar, both purees, the caramelised cauliflower and the parsley. Uh, shaved cauliflower goes next, lemon, finally the linguine, and the soup to follow. There we have the linguine and velouté of smoked haddock with cauliflower, spinach and ossetra caviar. My second dish will be uh, roast loin and ragu of Sol Salisbury plain venison, a pickled red cabbage puree and a slow gin sauce. Okay, so the loin and venison, we water bath it for about 45 to 50 minutes, 56 degrees, um, and then it's finished in foaming butter, thyme garlic, rested, and then um, kept somewhere warm till it's ready to carve. Also going with it, we've got a ragu, um, that's the haunch, it's minced down, braised, um, reduced. Uh, to, that also accompanies the loin. Uh, we've also got a pickled red cabbage puree, uh, turnips, crones. The turnips and crones are cooked also in the water bath with chicken stock, thyme, butter, uh, and then just finished in emulsion. Uh, fresh thyme down leaves and some cream syriac. The sauce is a slow gin sauce. The slow gin we've actually made in house. Um, it's a reduction of slow gin juniper finish with a red wine sauce. Once the venison is rested, firstly on the plate goes the venison ragu, the turnips and the crones, the pickled red cabbage puree, fresh tanned lines, caviar nero, uh, then you would slice the venison and dress with the sauce. And there we have it, the roast loin and ragu of stoked marsh venison with a pickled red cabbage puree and slow gin sauce. The third dish is a apple and vanilla cheesecake, pistachio puree and an apple sorbet. Okay, so first of all, we have uh, cheesecake. Uh, in the base is a mixture of nuts, hazelnuts, pistachio nuts, um, and then you've got a digestive biscuit, of course. Um, and then it's a classic cheesecake mix with apple puree through it. Uh, on the plate, you also have pistachio puree, um, some poached apples, some compressed apples, um, and your apple sorbet. Firstly for the cheesecake, uh, on the plate goes the pistachio puree. Next you demold the cheesecake, put the pistachio jelly on top, um, arrange the apple compressed and poached around it, uh, add your candied pistachios and finally you rush your sorbet and away it goes. So there we have the apple and vanilla cheesecake with pistachio puree and apple sorbet.